Okay, this is my cook kit uh, currently. Uh, first of all, I include this as part of my kit. It's a Nalgene water bottle. Um, holds, what, 32 ounces of water. Uh, nice, durable, haven't any issues with it. Um, still has water in from last time. Should probably dump that out from last weekend there. But, uh, so I got a water container. Uh, okay, now on to the rest of the kit is, this is a waterproof bag. Uh, cheapo Walmart buy three of them for five bucks or something. I don't know what the price is. Uh, this one does have a hole in it, uh, so I just use it for my cook kit because I don't care if it gets wet anyway. But real simple, pops open, rolls out. Um, all right, so that's the bag. Everything fits in there snugly. Okay. Uh, cheap kit. Basically, this is a probably $5 generic stainless steel cup from, guess where? Walmart. Okay. Nice uh, butterflying handle on it. Haven't had any issues with it. You know, good as any. I'm sure there's lighter and better ones out there. But it fits nice around the rest of my cook kit here. Okay, this is an idea I'm playing with. I've seen other people use similar things. But basically, this is... Uh, a gutter guard. This it comes in a big strip, uh, lays across your gutter to keep the leaves out. Um, I do need to burn the coating off of it. It has an aluminum, uh, some sort of aluminum oxide coating that I want to burn off of it. But I made it so it'll sit around the other cup. Uh, and here we go. I can use it either as a shield from the wind by wrapping some aluminum foil around it or you know, something else here. I also have these are two other pieces of the same material for the gutters and I basically have them so I can just simply set them across the top if I'm using this in a fire and then set my cup or anything I want on top of it if I'm not using a stove so there's that cup Okay, this is a Stanley, uh, I believe around $15 Walmart um, cook kit. It comes with a lid with a strainer, which I do use quite often, especially making like uh, pine tea, something like that. Uh, it comes with two plastic cups that sit inside of it. Uh, I don't use those very often. Uh, if somebody comes with me on a hike or something, we're going to make tea, I will bring that with me. This is just an old bandana I've had for decades. Um, so I just have one of those just to wipe out any dampness, all of that. All right. Move some stuff here. Ooh, side note, that lid does fit over the cup. So if I just wanted to use that, I can. All right. Espit stove. This is what I've used for a long time. I have a couple uh, alcohol tablets in there. It'll fit, I think, four tablets in there, which is usually good, you know, pretty good for afternoon or sometimes even a weekend in the summer, uh, depending on how much I eat. But basically, pop out a tablet, light them. That's why I have a lighter in here. Uh, they do not do not light off of a ferrocene rod, which kind of sucks. Uh, you could probably light a cotton ball, set it on top to light the uh, tablet, but I've never done that. So basically one of them sits inside there uh, or two of them. You can stack them on top of each other and last longer, uh, you know, for boiling things, you know, making soup. That's it. Everything will just kind of sit right on top like that. So that's my stove that I have been using for years. Uh, sometimes this lighter's, when I have four tablets in it, the lighter's just uh, in the main container. Okay, well, folds up nice. Going on, this is my spork. This is a cheapo stainless steel uh, spork, folding spork. Works fine. You know, it does everything I need it to do. I have seen uh, titanium ones. Uh, this just happens to be stainless steel. It's cheap. Uh, it was only 2 or $3 off of website dealextreme.com. Everything ships straight from... China, so you don't have to get up and go to Walmart for it. Uh, but basically, you know, you get everything like really cheap off that website. They have 
everything you could ever not need basically anything from camping supplies to uh, DIY flashlights to sex toys to kids toys to AR AK parts um, okay moving on uh, waterproof match kit uh, basically just the old old style unscrews pops this side have a bunch of matches in there as well as a couple strikers from the side of a box uh, and those are waterproof matches so do they need to be in a waterproof case probably not but I figure you know the woods not waterproof on the match so we'll save it from getting soggy and help it you know, for burning I also keep a small piece of aluminum foil this is probably you know about a foot long or so once unfolded um, a lot of times I will use it as a wind barrier when I'm cooking uh, just if there's it's a little bit windy out you know I could put it against that so it gives a little structure but uh, you can also use it for storing leftovers uh, you name it you know you can use it as a little plate you know once you unfold it you know if you're making bannock or something there's that and then just the cup you know, real simple kit uh, and everything goes back together just like Uh, a lot of times, uh, let's see here, stick that in there, that slides snugly over top of that, that's where I used to keep the foil, um, now I just keep it kind of rolled inside here a little bit, and then I will fold up most everything else inside the, uh, handkerchief just to help things keep a little bit more quiet stick it in there and find a spot where there's extra space there so that's that's pretty much it this handle folds up over top and keeps everything pretty quiet I guess and then it just tucks right into this bag which is just about the right size get it in there but that's it anyway once it's down to the bottom it's good because there's a hole in it you know like I said the bag's not waterproof but it's easier to wrap up because it lets the air out you can get it nice and snug in there and that's it that's my water that's my cook kit for right now for camping and hiking um, weight wise I'd say pound pound and a half I don't know somewhere in there I'm sure there's lighter options to go with but this is the cheapest option I could go with right now thanks for watching